January 3rd. If I can uh, get everyone to get settled, I'm going to get you to get settled just in time to tell you to stand up again. Uh, I'm Linda Tucker. I'm the city administrator, and we're here for the inauguration of four council members and a member of the Water and Sewer Commission. I really am happy that all of you have come out on this chilly night on the Isle of Palms. This is kind of unusual for us to have a cold snap like this, but I always say it's nice to have a little cold weather to kill back the bugs that we'll see in the summer. So um, with that, if I could get you to please stand for the invocation by the re very Reverend John B. Burwell, the rector of the Church of the Holy Cross, who's joining us again after 12 years, and that will be followed by the presentation of the colors and then the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Reverend Burwell. If you'd bow your heads. Gracious Heavenly Father, we commend our wonderful city, the Isle of Palms, to your great and merciful care. We thank you for the year we've just completed, and we pray your grace for 2012. At this first meeting of our brand new year, we ask you to send down upon all who hold office the spirit of charity and justice, that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve the well-being of all our people. Grant to our mayor, to our returning city council, to our new council members, and to our new commissioner, the courage, the wisdom, and the foresight necessary to provide for the many needs of our citizens. Finally, we ask you to bless us, O Lord, that we may be a blessing to you and to all who live, work, visit, and enjoy this island we call home. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Present colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you to the Iowa Palms Fire Department Color Guard for the presentation of the colors. Um, and now we will get on with the business that we're here to attend to this evening. And I would first like to ask um, Marie Copeland, who's the Clerk of City Council, to come forward. Marie is our historian and record keeper for the city um, and uh, also keeps track of all of the meetings. And the first um, individual to be sworn in is Council Member Ryan Buchanan. He is our veteran of City Council. Ryan, if you could come forward. He's going to be joined uh, by his spouse, Sonia, and their three sons, uh, Ashton, Beck, and Colin. <laughs> Ryan is starting his fourth term on city council. We've watched these boys grow up during his service. I, Ryan L. Buchanan, I, Ryan L. Buchanan, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear <coughs> that I am duly qualified. And I am duly qualified. According to the constitution of this state. According to the constitution of this state. To exercise the duties, to exercise the duties of the office to which I have been elected, the office to which I have been elected, and that I will, to the best of my ability, and I will, to the best of my ability, discharge the duties thereof, discharge the duties thereof, and preserve, protect, and defend, to preserve, protect, and defend the consti constitution of this state and of the United States, the constitution of this state and of the United States, as a council member of the city of Isle of Palms, as a council member of the city of Isle of Palms. I will equally, I will equally, fairly and impartially, fairly and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skill, exercise the trust reposed in me, exercise the trust reposed in me, and will use my best endeavor, and will use my best endeavor, to preserve the peace, to preserve the peace, and carry into effect, 
to carry into effect according to law according to law the purpose for which i have been elected the purpose for which i have been elected so help me god so help me god Next, we have Jimmy Carroll. This will be Jimmy's first term on city council. However, he is a bit of legacy. Some of you may not know this, but uh, Jimmy's mom, Kat, Kathy Carroll, actually ran for council many years ago, back in the early 70s. She was not elected, but Jimmy has come forward and carried the legacy forward. He is going to be uh, joined by Trish Elise and former city council member Leola Hanbury is going to swear him in. So if they'll come forward and his three boys are also going to join him up here. And Jimmy, I'm gonna ask you to uh, introduce your yes, boys. <laughs> the third, Jimmy Carroll, <laughs> Winslow, and Capers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> James E. Carroll. Leo, I'm going to interrupt to be really rude. Speak up, because yes. you don't have on a microphone. <laughs> 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 James E. Carroll, I do solemnly swear. James E. Carroll, I do solemnly swear. I am duly qualified according to the Constitution of this state. I am duly qualified to the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties of the office in which I have been elected to exercise the duties of the office of which I have been elected. And I will, to the best of my ability, and I will, to the best of my ability, discharge the duties thereof, discharge the duties thereof, and preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of this state and the United States. To preserve, protect, and defend the duties of this state and the United States. As council member of the city of Isle Palms, as council member of the city of Isle Palms, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, equally, fairly, and partially, to the impartially. To the best of my ability and skill, to the best of my ability and skill, exercise the trust reposed in me. Exercise the trust reposed in me. I will use my best endeavor, and use my best endeavor, to preserve the peace and carry into effect. To preserve the peace and carry into effect according to law according to law the purposes for which i have been elected the purposes for which i have been elected so help me god so help me god <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Michael Loftus, and Mike is starting his uh, second term on city council, and he is joined by his spouse, Marla. And last term on city council, Michael served as our mayor pro tem, and we can always count on him to inject a little humor when things get a little tense. So, um, and he's also kind of a practical joker, so watch out. <laughs> I, Michael G. Loftus. I, Michael G. Loftus. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will to the best of my ability. And that I will to the best of my ability. Discharge the duties thereof. Discharge the duties thereof and preserve, protect, and defend, and to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of this state and of the United States. The Constitution of this state and of the United States. As a council member of the city of Isle of Palms, as a council member of the city of Isle of Palms, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, and skill, and skills, exercise the trust reposed in me exercise the trust proposed in me. And will use my best endeavor. And will use with this endeavor. To preserve the peace. To 
preserve the peace and carry into effect according to law and to carry into effect according to law the purpose for which I've been elected the purpose for which I've been elected so help me God so help me God you got two lives. Next, we have Jimmy Ward, and this is Jimmy's second uh, term on council. He was actually on council back in the late 80s and early 90s, which was a very difficult time for the city of Isle of Palms, because as you all know, in 1989, we had Hurricane Hugo. And he is joined uh, by um, his friend Kathleen Allen and his twin sister, uh, <laughs> Decky Wooten, uh, uh, up here. So. Uh, with that, we will swear in Councilmember Jimmy Ward. I, James Manley Ward. I, James Manley Ward. Do you solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will, to the best of my ability, and I will, to the best of my ability, discharge the duties thereof, discharge the duties thereof, and preserve, protect, and defend, and preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of this state and of the United States, the Constitution of this state and of the United States, as a council member of the city of Isle of Palms, as a council member of the city of Isle of Palms, I will equally, fairly, and impartially, I will equally, fairly, and impartially. To the best of my ability and skill. To the best of my ability and skill. Exercise the trust proposed in me. Exercise the trust proposed in me. And will use my best endeavor to preserve the peace. And will use my best endeavor to preserve the peace. And carry into effect according to law. And carry into effect according to law. The purpose for which I have been elected. The purpose for which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> care of the swearing in of city council next we have the swearing in of the Isle of Palms Water and Sewer Commission and we will swear in tonight Nicholas Stroud who's starting his second six-year term on the commission and what important work these people have that we we take them for granted because uh, things happen as they should uh, in our homes every day and he is joined by his spouse Marlene I, Nicholas J. Stroud. I, Nicholas J. Stroud. Do solemnly swear that I am duly qualified. Do solemnly swear, swear that I am duly qualified. According to the Constitution of this state. According to the Constitution of this state. To exercise the duties of the office. To exercise the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And that I will, to the best of my ability, and I will, to the best of my ability, discharge the duties thereof, discharge the duties thereof, and preserve, protect, and defend, and preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of this state and of the United States. The Constitution of this state and of the United States. As a commissioner of public works, as a commissioner of public works of the City of Isle of Palms, of the City of the Isle of Palms, I will fairly equally and impartially I will fairly equally and impartially to the best of my ability and skill to the best of my ability and skill exercise the trust reposed in me exercise the trust reposed in me and will use my best endeavor and will use my best endeavor to preserve the peace to preserve the peace and carry into law and carry into effect according to law and carry into effect according to law the purposes for which I've been elected. The purposes for which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Next on the agenda, I'm going to call on our mayor, Dick Cronin, for some inaugural comments. I only have about 40, 45 minutes. So I hope you're patient with me. <laughs> Reverend, come Worse on. Than my sermon, come on. <laughs> well, welcome, one and all. It's uh, really marvelous to have everybody come at the start of a new season. Um, Marcy doesn't know I'm going to do this, but uh, two weeks ago, I looked for symbolism around, and two weeks ago, I saw on this island an American bald eagle sitting prominently 
enjoying the island as we enjoy it every day. So to me, that's a connection with the nation, with the state, and obviously our city. So uh, I carry this with me now. So uh, just to remind myself that we're part of a bigger picture, but it all starts here. You gentlemen who have now been sworn in have a very uh, honorable position to hold, and you're following great footsteps. Uh, the city has been developed over years uh, by great people serving and looking out for the best in its interests of the citizens of the community. And I expect that's going to continue. Um, we have a loving and sensitive community, and I think uh, everything we do has to maintain the integrity of what's been built in the past and keep us focused on, on building even sharper community in the future. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize my predecessor, Mike Satilli, sitting over here. Uh, I might even give this picture of the eagle to Mike. He's going off to Columbia next week to start a new, <laughs> a new year in Columbia, and maybe if he can spread the word around that, that uh, government starts locally, we can, we can have an impact and Mike can help us through, uh, through another trialing uh, times with the state government. Um, I want to uh, just move on with an analogy I've used before, and those who have heard it before, you'll have to bear with me. But I, I consider our operation within the city to be like running a symphony. Some of you have heard this? I know. I'm going to use it again. <coughs> we on council decide what music is going to be played. But it's the city staff, starting with our lead conductor, Linda, and the departments, that actually have to play the tunes and, and create the music and create the harmony that we need throughout the city to make it a, a, a wonderful place for the city and the residents to live. So as musicians, our departments work marvelously. And I'm going to share with you some of the accomplishments over the last year and where we're going with some of those activities. For instance, in our public works department, do you know that their service, I know you know they're service oriented. People set their watch by the arrival of the trucks during the course of the week. But last year they moved 3 million, uh, 362,000, 3,620 3, tons of debris off of this island. That's three quarters of a million pounds. And that's all from the residential areas. They're very attentive. We get high marks. Our public works department is, is on top of matters. In addition, from a public works standpoint, we put in the, we finished the 53rd to 57th Street drainage project, a major project. It's now moving stormwater from a very affected area, now uh, through wild dunes out into the marsh area. And we have, uh, we have a wonderful project at hand. We should thank the county. The county worked with us uh, this year. They've repaved five miles of roads on this island in one year. Uh, so now we have a better surface and, and less potholes and less, uh, less other incidents to deal with. Uh, South Carolina Electric and Gas has finished three projects this year, improving the reliability of the power that we have on the island and are about to undertake another project in the Forest Hills, uh, Forest Hills, Forest Trails area. Uh, and I think it's the last project out there. I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, they have another project that will be underway in, in 2012. So we're trying to increase all of the services that are available. The rec department, I know Norma Jean is here, they have 11,000 participants <coughs> in the course of a year at the rec center. That's not 11,000 individuals. We don't have 11,000 individuals. Many people are there two, three, four programs in the course of a year. It's well attended. If you're not involved, get involved with the rec center. You can go from Zumba to youth soccer to Keenagers, it's all sorts of, I don't think you can do all three of those, that doesn't work. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful facility and everybody, if they're not taking advantage of it, uh, get in line, you can be at 11,001 next year when we get, we get going. The public safety uh, organizations we have here, I can remind you that our police department uh, received accreditation from the law enforcement agencies again. We're re-accredited. This is the, uh, I guess, our third re-accreditation process. We've been, re we've been accredited now for 12 years. As, as many of you know, I like statistics and data, et cetera. So I'm going to share a little bit with you. We're going to close out the year 2011 having arrested approximately 400 people. 400. That's not traffic citations and all. That's 
simple math tells you that's about one a day. So that seems like a lot. Fourth year in a row, that number is down. So the island, while it's well populated, particularly in the summer and spring periods, our police department, our own actions as citizens, et cetera, the types of people we're having visit with us, much better performance as far as uh, being civil and obedient and following the, the law. So the police department is busy, but not as busy as they were a couple of years ago. So that's, that's good news. Our fire department uh, responded to 410 alarms in the course of the year, and a number of those were actual house fires, which uh, is distressing for all of us. And they had 252 emergency medical calls. These are, you know, you look at a daily basis, they're out every day treating somebody on the island or, or responding to some other crisis. So, and I'm not even talking about water missions when we have people in distress on the water, et cetera. So, very important. We have improved the communications. We complained to county council about the ability of their communication network to, to protect our people and our citizens. The county has responded and they put in a new tower. The tower is sitting down there at 41st Avenue. It's going through uh, tests right now. I'm anticipating that uh, we'll have much better communications for the safety of our personnel and the safety of the citizens on the island once that tower is in. So uh, kudos to the fire department and everybody else that uh, helped us pull that on. The building department uh, has just refinished the lighting on with uh, light emitting di diodes, new lighting system on Front Beach, if you will. It'll be safer, more energy efficient. We've renovated the city hall, not this chamber, but uh, the far end. So the building department will, has moved out of the building they occupied. We're going to be tearing that down, creating more parking space. So it'll be a much better environment for all of the city staff to work. Our finances of the city, we uh, concluded uh, our fiscal year 11, $580,000 to the good. We were under budget in our general fund, and all our rest of our balances and all our other funds have been maintained. And we're running again this year so far under budget. I'll knock on wood or whatever material this is. <laughs> that keeps going in that way. And we've actually paid off early the uh, a capital lease on one of our large trucks. So uh, we're moving forward in that regard. On a bigger picture, we have some uh, beach initiatives underway. Um, we've received an award last year for the best restored beach um, from the American Shore and Beach Preservation Association. I'm certain everybody here is probably a member of that organization. <laughs> However, they focus on beaches and beach preservation, et cetera, and they've awarded us an award for the best restored beach, um, and we'll be receiving that award here shortly. Um, but we're continuing to manage the beach. We've got a permit from OCRM now to realign and, and deal with a focused erosion program uh, project uh, further up uh, on the east end of the island. We're only awaiting the Corps of Engineers permit, which uh, we've been promised uh, now for weeks now. But it'll come through, and then we'll get on with that project hopefully in the year 2012. The marina, we're about to uh, launch into dredging the marina, the city's portion of the marina. Again, we're waiting. We have the OCRM permit. We're, again, we're waiting for the Corps of Engineers permit. But once that's done, we have the contractor lined up, and hopefully that'll be done yet this winter. Um, significant input was received throughout the island uh, during the course of 2011 on parking. Parking is a major issue. It's going to grow over time. Uh, we're going to be dealing with that with the Planning Commission and with, with Council uh, in the ensuing periods, whether it be a year or years, will be determined uh, here as we go forward. But parking is, is still a major issue, but we're, we're learning a lot more and dealing with it. I would be remiss if I didn't speak to the Water and Sewer Commission. Um, you know, the commissioners and their staff, which is a very limited staff in the Water and Sewer, they work diligently to provide us with clean, portable water. And, and, um, and for much of the island, they, how best I say it, they, they take it away. <coughs> and as of such, you know, they, as Linda indicated earlier, they toil in somewhat obscurity under the surface, if you will. But, <laughs> but, but it's a wonderful service they provide. We couldn't survive without uh, good, clean water, and the uh, and the results of they're taking it away as well. So I want to thank them for all their work. I know they're working on a major capital program, uh, and uh, I encourage them to keep the renewal process alive. Uh, we, the citizens of the island. Not only this generation, but the future generation depend on them to provide us with the good, clean water and the uh, sewage treatment that's necessary. And if, uh, if uh, members of council or council in large can help you in the Water Commission in any way, please uh, come forward and make your, uh, make your plea known. 
2012, as I've indicated, is going to be a challenge uh, for us. We have, as I indicated, the parking uh, projects, programs, plans to be developed. Uh, we have the beach initiatives. We have the initiatives at the marina uh, dealing with dredging, et cetera, in front of us. And we have to keep the citizens on this island safe and insecure. Uh, and we have to do that with the minimal um, budget implications. I think we have the wherewithal to do that. I'm pleased with the team that we have put together here for, for council. I think we have a good cross-section of the island, and uh, I'm looking forward to a, a very productive year in 2012. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I want to just mention that we also have Dee Taylor here, a former member of council, uh, standing in the back of the room. If you stay long enough, Dee, we'll put you back to work. <laughs> He's trying to get out the door there. Um, also, very quickly, I would like to thank the uh, General Government Department, um, Amy and Laura in the back of the room, Marie, who participated in the swearing in, <laughs> Debbie on the finances, and Emily Jubin. I've lost sight of her here, but she, yeah, there she is. Um, uh, Emily uh, helps me out. She is uh, always able to help you if you cannot get me, so please do not hesitate to call on her. And with that, I will turn it over to Reverend Burwell for our benediction, and then we will convene a meeting of council. Thank you for letting me be here. I want, by the way, this is my 21st year as a resident of the Isle of Palms, and I am delighted. <laughs> Wouldn't want to live anyplace else. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace both now and evermore. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Okay. Two minutes. <laughs> we'll take two minutes to move everybody around. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Good evening again. Let me call this council meeting to order. Uh, as far as the roll call, I'd like to announce that everybody is present except uh, Councilman Thomas, who's on the holiday and uh, is going to be gone for a couple of weeks in the month of January. Why did he pick this cold weather to leave? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. He has more foresight than I guess the rest of us. So, with that said, I'll move on to the uh, agenda. Appointments of members of the city boards, commissions, and committees. And I have a motion to appoint candidates for boards and commissions as approved by the special council meeting on December 6, so 2011. Second. Motion and seconded. Any discussion? <coughs> you have a list of the uh, parties involved uh, with your packet. Any discussion? None heard. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Motion carries. Next, you have, uh, again in your packet, the <coughs> Standing Committees of Council assignments for 2012. I have a motion to approve, please. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? None heard. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is to appoint a representative to the Carta Board. The nominated uh, party and the volunteer is Marty Battelli. Oh, I'll get back. Okay. <coughs> I thought he was drafted. I'm trying to move. <laughs> well, let me say on, on my point here, can I have a motion to approve Marty to serve on the Carta Board? So moved. Second. second. Motion and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Marty's even silent. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next item, going backwards, is to appoint the city attorney. Before you, you have the recommendation to appoint uh, Sterling as our city attorney again this year, as we have in the last, and the assistant's attorney would be Clay McCullough. So moved. Motion second. second. Any discussion? None heard. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Sterling, you will us again. Well, <laughs> welcome. Uh, in your package and on the table for all our visitors, et cetera. We have a list of uh, the accomplishments. This is a document put together by the city every year. They have a file now, so if you want to go back and read, if you can't sleep at night and want to go back four or five years, uh, we can provide you with the uh, documents on how the city has progressed over the last series of years. It's actually quite interesting to look back over time frankly, uh, and see what has changed in the city and how the city has, has moved us forward. So. Uh, you can borrow my file if you, if you don't have one. Uh, I think it's uh, quite a worthwhile document and uh, well served. 
We're putting more pictures in it now than we did before, so we to, some of you don't like to read a lot. You can look at the pictures. So. And, it's posted online. and it'll be posted online by tomorrow, if I understand <laughs> right. Correct? So you don't want a hard copy, you can get yourself a nice uh, internet copy. Okay, I have nothing else to bring before council. Anybody else have any miscellaneous business? Can we to adjourn? Enjoy the refreshments. May I have a motion to adjourn and then enjoy the refreshments? So so move. Move. Second. Motion and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. We're out of here. <coughs> Over here we have uh, some refreshments, coffee for those who need some hot one? and warm.